Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. I want to talk about the average value of a function. Now you've probably learned how to take the average of two numbers, you add them and divide by two, or five numbers, add them all up and divide by five. But when you have a function, a function has infinitely many values over any interval. And so how do you add those up and divide by infinity? That's not how we uh, find average value. We find it a slightly different way. Imagine this is the function that we want to average, y equals f of x. And we want to average it over this interval from a to b. Think about the area under the curve. That area is going to um, be determined by the value of the integral of this function from a to b. Now imagine that this region is, is a, a body of water sitting in a tank. And when the water settles, it'll find a level. The height of that level is going to be our average value, f bar. So we, we call f bar the average value of f of x on the interval to a, uh, a, b. And we define f so that the area of this rectangle is exactly equal to the area under the curve, this green area here. The area of the rectangle is whatever height this is, f bar, times b minus a, this width. That's the rectangle. On the right side, we have the area of the curve which is the definite integral, right? The area of this green region, the definite integral of f from a to b. All we have to do to get a formula for the average value is divide both sides by this, and that leads us to the average value of a function formula. The average value of a function f on the interval from a to b is 1 over b minus a, the width of the interval, times the integral from a to b of f of x. And by 2. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. So if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> that should be... Less than. Yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be bleh, starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, to fix. Yeah. <laughs>